Hi guys, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it's Thursday, which means it's time for another quick design tip. And in this week's quick tip, I'm going to share with you how to add fake depth of field to your character designs just to boost some of the details and add a focal point to your designs. So let's jump in. Hi guys, so here we are in Photoshop. Now, what you're gonna to need to put this uh, technique is, you need to have your character designs and it needs to be separated on its own layer. Now, it can be quite a rough chop out from the background. If you've got it completely separated from the background, that's even better, but it, it doesn't need to be perfect. This is fine. So to create this fake depth of field, what you need to do is two things. The first thing is to right click on your character layer right click on the layer and click convert to smart object and what this is going to allow us to do is allow us to make uh, fine adjustments to the depth of field blur. Now the second thing that you need to do is go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and set the blur depending on how big your document is just a, a slight blur. You, you still want to be able to make out some of the details. It doesn't want to be crazy blurred like that where all of the details are completely um, gone. So knock it. So you, you know you want to, almost like you're squinting your eye at the piece. I'm going to set this at about three, roughly three pixel blur. Okay, and now what you'll see is we get this mask on our. Gaussian blur. So we've got our smart filter and because we set our character design layer as a smart object to start off with, when we applied the blur to that smart object it gave us something called this smart filter and this smart filter allows us to create blurs and other apply other filters to it while still being able to edit that uh, blur. It's a non-destructive way of editing Oftentimes, when you are creating uh, blurs to your thing, to your whatever it is in Photoshop, you uh, create the blur and that's it. The, the blur has been applied to your layer, and unless you undo it, you can't adjust it. You need to undo it and maybe apply it again, a slightly different intensity, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But having it as a smart object first al allows us to retain the uh, ability to switch it up. Let me explain. If I double click on the Gaussian blur layer, the little uh, the name of it underneath smart filter, you can see that it brings up the Gaussian blur adjustment panel and we can, we can make more adjustments to it again. And we can go crazy. I'm going to stack it back to about, well I'm actually going to raise it to about four. So that's, that's more what I want for the purposes of this tutorial. And now if I click on the white box next to the smart filter label in the layer stack, make sure you click on it, you'll see it so you get those little, little tiny black selection box around it. This is the smart filter mask and it works like any other mask and in that we can paint black or white or varying degrees of grey onto the mask and it's going to hide or reveal the object that it's masking. So if you hit B to get your brush tool up and just get a soft round brush, you know, relatively large and make sure you've got black selected in your uh, as your colour, in your foreground colour now what we're going to do is get a very large brown brush and just paint out the details on the face. I want the details on the face to be apparent, but I want to create a nice depth of field on the rest of the character. You know, it's sort of when you're looking at an object, you really only see the, what you're looking at and everything in your peripheral vision is blurred out, it's out of focus. And we can use that technique to draw the user's eye into certain areas. Uh, that we want them to focus on and what you know part of the story or part of the expression in this case is the character's expression. So I'm going to paint out the blur 
in and around the, this cat's face to bring back the, uh, the, the in-focus design, which is inside the smart object. And then, as you can see, everything else of the character is now blurred. It sort of gives this nice soft focus camera effect. You know, you see sometimes nice photographs where you're photographing flowers and all of the busy uh, scenery and, and, and foliage is soft blur, but the inside of the petals and the stem and all of that is in focus. And it creates a nice picture, it creates a focal point, it creates a story to your work. And so that's what we're doing here. It's a really quick way to add fake get the feel and all we did was create the character design, put it into a smart object and then apply a, a Gaussian blur to that smart object and then paint uh, the mask uh, in black to uh, hide and reveal some of the, uh, bring back some of the focus and leave everything else in to create that fake depth of field. Um, so that's how you create fake depth of field in Photoshop. So that's it for this quick tip guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. That's it for this week guys. Have a great week and I'll see you later.